new back. day, new day, new day out here on the ice. Well, where should we start? I guess it's about mid morning right now. You know, the last couple days we've been up on red, catching a whole bunch of walleyes. And we kind of figured today, mix it up, mix it up, get off of red, go look for some ice on some new areas. A couple things working against us. One, it's only December 1st, so there's not a lot of ice. Two, it's just super warm every day, so it's not really making a lot of ice in a lot of places. But um, it's about mid morning now, and we actually got on some ice. Now, we kind of drove down a long ways down a shoreline to get to where we're gonna go. And uh, last time we were in this spot was probably three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Yeah, in the boat, in the Alumacraft, pounding and on some walleyes, bunch of pike in the mix. I think we could kind of expect that same thing today. That's kind of what we're hoping for. It's kind of one of these areas where, you know, a lot of times late in the fall, you have a lot of walleye sliding really shallow. And this is kind of like one of those, it's like a pinch point, deep trough type of spots where it's like anybody's guess as to what could be in here. but. Um, last time we were up here, the water temp was like 38, 39 degrees, really late in the fall, and we caught a ton of big walleyes. And we're hoping to kind of do the same thing today. And uh, this is a lake that is notoriously in the winter kind of an evening bite um, in my small amount of experience out here, but I've never fished anything uh, like the spot we're gonna go to. I've never been here on the ice, so uh, predictions. I think if we get walleyes, they're gonna be big. We'll say that. They're gonna be big walleyes. I think right, you're gonna see those 18 to you know 24 inch walleyes, maybe a couple even bigger than 20 that. 20 to 26 is what I was gonna say. Yeah, you know, and then uh, you know, some smaller pike, maybe some decent pike in the mix, and then uh, yeah. who knows what else. Yeah, it's kind of a grab bag type of spot, but stay tuned. We actually already dropped the shack off and all our stuff, but um, we're gonna go kind of uh, punch a few holes, set some set lines down, maybe do a little jigging. This is the kind of a spot that I think is gonna be a lot of set line fishing, but we'll just kind of see how the day goes. And uh, yeah, we're kind of coming to the spot. So stay tuned, let's get it going on. Let's catch a bunch of fish out here. New lake, new spot, new day. Boom! Oh, there she goes. Got him, right there. Feels heavy. Oh, big walleye, come on, big walleye. Oh, come on. Not a pike, this is, what is it? Oh my goodness. Cody, Cody, get over here. <laughs> get over here. You guys are never gonna believe what this is. Oh my gosh, is he head shaking hard. Oh my gosh. This is intense. I cannot believe the first fish we caught here. I gotta get my other GoPro going. Oh man, we only got one GoPro going here. Go to heck! <laughs> Never gonna believe it, big dog. First, oh my god. <laughs> big old pout to get things going. <laughs> Look at that thing. He's got wicked colors, dude. We weren't expecting that, were we? No. Wow, I gotta get the other camera going here. Wow, we did not expect that, did we? No. Hold them up, Cody was going over No matter the way you hold these things, they're always just a ball. I don't know, hold them up nice and high. <laughs> <laughs> as best you can, he's just curling. <laughs> well, that's kinda cool. Yeah. I'll take a quick picture of you. A species that kinda got over harvested just cause they thought they were a trash fish. But they are super cool. <laughs> Super cool patterns to them and they fight like crazy, so. Oh, we did not expect that. Yeah. It came up and I was like, what the heck is this fish on right there feels heavy feels good Cody oh dude it's another one I'm not joking you it's another one <laughs> this is crazy this is crazy look at him down there Cody <laughs> how oh, cool dude, is that bigger one I don't know way bigger. that thing is so fat though look at this oh my gosh <laughs> hang on let me fight him <laughs> look at that thing oh my oh. goodness dude two of them are we walleye fishing today you can't even grab these suckers. <laughs> so this is my personal record for burbot in one day. Hands down. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look how fat these things are. 
That's crazy. So Not cool. what we came out here for. So muscly. Well, big girl there. Look at that belly. He just grabbed it, sat there, and uh, oh my god, do they have teeth? Oh, teeth they're there? like a bass. Pull that line a little bit for me. They're choking them though, but we'll get them all unhooked nice. Look at that. Hold that gold plate. Hold that. All right, we got two flakes. Look how crazy this is. Big fat burbots. Big fat burbots on early ice. All right. Got it. Is it turning? Mine didn't turn till I got to it. I had like literally an inch of line out. Is it going at all? Oh yeah, he's on there. Is it possible? Is it really? It's another oh my goodness, dude. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening out here? How fun is this? Oh, this is so crazy, fun. dude. Crazy. <laughs> I guess I know what we're doing the rest of the day. <laughs> think, we can, think we can jig him? Oh, we can jig That's him. a long one. Yeah. He's built oh, 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 no. Oh, look at that. No. I like it. I like it. Give me some. <laughs> Just giggling out here. Oh, huh? Is this better than walleye fishing oh, or worse than walleye fishing? Better. I don't I mean, know. It's like a little snake pen. It's you're just, you're slow. Oh my gosh, dude, you are slow. Oh, <laughs> dude, oh, oh yeah. All right, we'll get this one hooked. Take a quick picture, oh, let him go. You are done, dude. Lake. You are done, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the guts on these things. Massive. What a fun fish to catch. I don't know how common catching them in the daytime is. Wow, that's exciting. That's exciting. Well, we got two flags out of the water, three burbot caught so far, and uh, we're just kind of in the first little bit of time here. Yeah, it's crazy. Lost a pike. Lost a, probably what was a pike. Yeah, more than like. It's bait up, and I don't know, we might try to jig some of these, especially, you know, they always, I don't really know anything about burbot, but they always talk about that evening bite. Mm -hmm. It might be a long, you know, we'll just catch a bunch, and maybe right at dark, we'll, I don't know, it'd probably be worth to start trying to jig one. I don't know. It's all you. Big walleye, come on. Just not a pike. Got him? Got heavy? Heavy, heavy? Oh, heavy, heavy. heavy. I like it. Heavy. Come on. Come on. Be something good for daddy. Come on. Big head shakes. Big head shakes? Big head shakes. I guess what it is. Oh, <laughs> it's a big one, dude. It's a big one. <laughs> Look at these guys. Oh, oh my, my goodness, goodness. dude. Uh, <laughs> Get them uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, he's pooping all over already. Oh we did. <laughs> this is so much. Fun. Four of them. Now, this is just, we had no idea what we were getting into when we started today. We literally came out here fishing walleyes, figured we'd probably catch a few pike. We pounded the walleyes right in this spot. Was that a video? Do we even get a video? I don't think we even we, we filmed it, but we got a good video. We just never posted it, I think. Oh my goodness. And that would have like been probably six, seven pounds, dude. And that walleye video we filmed here probably would have been three, four weeks ago. Yeah. Now. Yeah, and it was, you know, a lot of fish in here. They just moved around a bunch. A lot of 24s, 23 inches type of stuff. Yeah. We'll get them unhooked here and give you guys a look. Ready? Yep. There we go, guys. Another long. Fat, fat bird. Look at that thing. Look at how fat. I don't know if there's a bunch of eggs in there. I don't just know. Fish, I don't know how that works really. We're gonna get this one back. Look how pretty these things That's are. That's an man. eight inch hole, guys. Look at the girth on this fish. Oh my gosh. Right here, buddy. Right down the hole. Right down the hole. There we go. Oh, <laughs> is talk this, about a fish that's hard to hold. No is this better than walleyes or worse than walleyes? I don't know yet. You know, it's been so long since I've caught a burb, it feels really good to be catching, yeah. you know, just something about the way they fight. And the way they look, you know, yeah. we did, like I said, we did not come out here intending to do this, but I think I still am confident there's another spot we might go check out for walleyes, but I mean, obviously we're having so much fun that we might just keep doing this for a while, then I don't know. We, we got to start jigging though. We got to start jigging. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, it's kind of this, you know, early afternoon time frame right now. And uh, we've sacrificed one of the set lines and gone to a jigging combination, which has not produced anything yet. But it seems like 
that first little while we were here, that first hour, we, you know, we got all those burbot. Everything I've always heard about burbot is a uh, night bite type of stuff, that last hour of the day into the night. And um, Cody actually drilled, he actually is a big pike spearing fanatic. I am. And he drilled a big hole in the ice and actually speared a little pike. And um, as he was looking down there, we thought it'd be kind of a good idea just to kind of see what was there. And you saw some big walleyes. Some big walleyes. Cody saw some big walleyes, some nice pike, and some more burbot. One burbot that actually swam like up to the hole, ridiculous, but so we're, <laughs> we're kind of hoping that he wanted like a Cheeto. I feel like we could have just fed him a Cheeto right there, right on the top of the ice. But um, yeah, we're kind of hoping that, you know, as the sun goes down, we got a couple hours yet, that things kind of pick up. And, uh, you know, we're obviously interested in catching more burbot, um, but it'd be really cool if we caught some more burbot, which I think is kind of a guarantee to happen and uh um you know had a shot at a couple of big walleyes this afternoon kind of ca cap off for just a really cool day not a ton of action but you know pretty much when we're catching the nicer fish they're pretty good, good, good. oh no way on film what do we got i don't know did it come up like a pike or a walleye i don't know dude what do we got it's a pike oh, it is? oh that was kind of cool anyways <laughs> <laughs> Now we're after, but <laughs> I guess there's there's our first fish jigging on the old uh, silver sidewinder. It's basically the equivalent of like a Johnson silver spoon under the ice because yeah. it's just a, a pike magnet in clear water. Yep. Nice little flutter action you get with these. They're awesome baits. Well, that was cool, if nothing else. Yeah. Give us the fish we want, <laughs> or don't give us any. <laughs> well, it's gotta be getting close to prime time here. Cody's about to catch this fish. I mean, it's halfway respectable. respectable. I mean, I'm not gonna call that like a good one. This but, area of Minnesota though, I mean, there's just a pile of these size pike over here. That's why they make the limit so high. There we go. For these guys. You know, I already have to clean one pike, so. You gonna clean two pike? Why not clean two? I'm a walleye conservationist, but in lakes like this, they're filthy with those little rat slime weasels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'll, I'll, I'm not opposed to keeping a few pike, but sun's going down. I mean, one would think it's about time here, so we're gonna kinda fasten ourselves in for what we hope is going to be a fun next couple hours. Oh nice dude, Cody's on. Oh look at that dude. That's what we want. We did it. <laughs> the 11th hour. Dude, that Finally. sidewinder is buried in this fish's throat guys. It's a good spoon that I think a lot of people don't even know about. Yeah, a lot of people will not run that, but take a look guys. That thing is absolutely choked in there. Look at that night bite. In it. I like it. I've been running the set lines. Cody started doing a little jigging. Look at that guy. That is what we're out here for. Let's Beautiful. hope for the, a few more show up. Beautiful gravel lizard. Took till last late to get a walleye to show up, but I should say a walleye to bite. It's as pretty as it gets though. Boom. Boom. Let's get some more. Oh, look at that. Oh. Look at that, Cody. Look at that thing. <laughs> that was a huge mark. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm jigging. I'm jigging after this. 
<laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that guy. Not as bad as the other ones. Not as big as the previous ones, but man, to do that jigging. So we were, we were kind of sort of right, you know. Kind of, sort of. I mean, I'm gonna start jigging though. I think. Definitely, definitely fun jigging. You see that sidewinder just sticking out of his mouth barely there. Little chrome sidewinder. Got Smoked a little bit of green it. flake to it. That was cool, man. Yeah. There he goes. All right, bash it. Oh, guys. Oh, going back. <laughs> Doesn't want to go back. Burbot down the hole after dark. <laughs> Give me some. Boom. Heck yeah, I like it. Well, it's about six o'clock now. We gave the after dark thing a little bit of a go. Cody got a couple of nice fish. Not much happened to that tip ups. A couple of flags, fish popping it, but nothing there. And uh, what do you think? It was that fun. It was fun to run in some burbs. And I never today, even expected that, so today, that was the coolest part. Today took a straight left turn at about <laughs> right, into, right when we got set up <laughs> and we saw the first burbot and then we saw the second burbot and then Cody was flopping on the ground like a seal for a second there. <laughs> rubbing burbot poop off him, but another fun day in the ice and uh, this is kind of one of those spots we kind of figured it'd be just kind of a toss up. Who knows what you're going to get. One thing I think this spot would be really cool to do is bring the hub out here, sleep out here for the night, get some lighted tip ups yeah. and stuff going like that. And you could probably catch some big ones. I mean, there's a lot more walleyes here than we caught for sure. Yeah, I mean, I saw two or three of them. Three of them. And we're just sitting over just the spear hole. Sitting so, over I mean, the spear hole, yeah. It might just be a day, who knows. And we knew it wouldn't be like a high volume number spot. We figured we'd get some nice fish, but the nice walleyes were replaced with nice burbot. But uh, no complaints on this end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This is a lot of times what makes ice fishing cool. You can come to a lot of these spots and just kind of sit on them and really camp and uh, see what some of these spots have to offer. I have no idea what we're doing tomorrow. Might come back out here. It's so warm out, the ice is kind of like not as good as we want it to be. And it's not really gonna get that cold tonight, but we might come out and do some exploring here. We might go explore somewhere else, who knows? A lot of this stuff's all new ice fishing to us on a lot of these bodies of water or locations which we have not ice fished before. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of this is what we fish, you know, open water. So yeah, ice fishing is a totally different ball game uh, when it comes to being out here on this stuff. So it's just yeah. cool being out on new stuff new things to see and new bites yeah but uh yeah i appreciate you guys watching this video stay tuned for more content we got the ice content rolling pretty much every day now and uh we might as well do a little announcement right now it's gonna do on facebook tonight we might as well do it now this weekend this actually this video might go what day is today so the next video goes on thursday so this video is gonna post on friday so this is worthless information but <laughs> might as well i was gonna say i'll be at the st paul ice show on friday and saturday morning but uh um, this video is going to be posted Friday, so maybe you guys have a couple hours leeway to see this. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you're not subscribed yet, please do that. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you next time.